Hey, this is a video for how to change your brake worm gear. Um, it's a really simple process. You just need to know a few things. Uh, the tools we're going to be using are vice grips and then just a Phillips screwdriver. I also have a 10 millimeter wrench to loosen up our motor and then just a clamp to get our worm gear or our gearbox cover out of the way. Um, basically to start, we have the machine with the head cover off, taking the shield off so we can get in here. The first thing we're going to do is take this spike plate off so we can remove the shaft. To do that, um, we're going to use the vice grips. I like to put a paper towel on the shaft there, so that way we don't uh, dent it when we clamp it with the vice grips. And you're going to want this pretty tight. So if you're doing this with one person, um, I can get the vice grips to just lock back here, kind of on the motor, and they'll lock under this bolt here. If you're doing it with two people, you can have one person hold the vice grips while the other person grabs onto the spike plate. So now I'm gonna grab onto the spike plate. I like to use some rags or something so the spikes don't poke me. You could also use some cardboard or something. Um, but you're gonna grab onto the spike plate, and then I'm gonna push it this way. I'm rotating this way, basically, as you're shaving, it tightens up the spike plate. So this might be a little bit hard to do, but just putting some force on there, it'll break. And then being careful that the spike plate doesn't drop and uh, scratch your shaving disc. Just slowly unscrew this. Okay, there we go. So now um, I can pull this shaft out. Now I can take the gearbox cover off. Okay, now we can see our worm gear and uh, also our motor SS worm gear. Um, this is a new shaver, so it looks good in there. We're not actually going to change it. But what you're going to do here is usually it's hard to take the worm gear out. So I'll loosen up the motor. That's when that 10 millimeter wrench comes in. Loosen up the motor. Um, you can slide it out so it disengages a little bit from the worm gear. Remove it and then put a new one in the same direction as the one you pulled out. Um, this is a good time to swap your grease out too. If you already have this open, you pull the brass gear out, it's a really good time to just get a fresh start, swap the gear, put a whole new tube of grease in there. Um, so then once you put the new gear in, it's gonna sit like this. You'll have your fresh grease in there. You can go ahead and put on the gear box cover like so. You don't need to tighten that down quite yet. And then I'll take our shaft, making sure that this notch in the shaft lines up with the key, the key in the worm gear. You can get that to slide down through. Sometimes that'll be a little bit hard. And I think it's helpful to put the crank handle on. You can get it to come back through. Now that that's back through, um, we can go ahead and put the spike plate back on. tighten that up. And then the last thing you're going to need to do is um, put your screws back on your gearbox cover. And then if you did loosen up that motor uh, with the gearbox cover open, I like to just readjust it so that the two gears are tight together.